friends welcome to endo tales from life in this video we are going to do a simple demonstration of retraction cord placement before tooth preparation so we have a patient for whom i'm going to perform a veneer preparation in both the maxillary central incisors so it is very important for you to note that prior to placement of retraction cord it is mandatory to anesthetize the tooth this procedure should not be done without anesthesia so you can see here after applying some topical anesthetic I'm just infiltrating a few drops of articaine here and then we are going to proceed with the cord placement so the most commonly used cards are the sizes triple zero and double zero so the size double zero is actually a little more thicker and triple zero is thinner so generally if you want more of lateral displacement of the gingiva uh, it's preferable to go for a double zero whereas if you do not want much of lateral displacement you can just go for a triple zero like in case of uh, looting or bonding or restoration so here since i want more of lateral displacement to protect the gingiva during my preparation I have chosen a double zero retraction card here and you can see here the amount of displacement so I'm roughly just going to take say an inch of the retraction card the double zero retraction card which is good enough for one central incisor you can see here I'm going to place it on both the uh, central incisors before doing the preparation so it is very important to wet the retraction cord you can use any solution even saline would do but here I'm just using the local anesthetic solution to wet this this is another very important step to protect the gingiva and the periodontion and I'm just placing it around the neck of the tooth and since it's just a veneer preparation I'm not I don't I will not have to do a 360 degree retraction cord placement I'm just going to place it mainly on the uh, labial and the interproximal area and this is the cord packing instrument it's very useful though you can do this procedure with uh, any plastic instrument or uh, even a spoon excavator I would recommend you to use these cord packers because the offset uh, the instrument is in such an offset angle it's very convenient to place a retraction cord in place it has two ends and you can choose whichever end that is needed for that particular surface as you can see here on the palatal side I'm not just going to place the card deep inside as we are going to do only the preparation on the label side so this is the right way of placing the card a lot of times people tend to just place the card too superficial when you place the retraction card properly it should not be visible that is when you know that your retract the retraction card has been placed well enough and now I am placing it on the next tooth you can see on the measles side I am able to manage pretty easily with just the uh, retraction cord packer but on the distal side you can see I am not able to pass it through the contact as the contact is pretty tight and in such situations you can use a double strand of floss which can push the retraction cord into the interproximal area beneath the contact and then if you are going to do a crown preparation I would just pack the retraction cord even on the palatal side following palatal soft tissue anesthesia but like I mentioned this is just a veneer prep so I am not placing pushing it deep enough on the palatal side and that's it there we go you can see now when I do the preparation I will be able to place the margins nicely 
equi gingival or even little sub gingival but still not damaging the gingival you can see that the burr has not lacerated the gingival in any way but still i've been able to place a good margin you can see the lateral displacement so it's very easy for my impression method be it the digital method or even the analog impression materials can record the margins nicely and also another point to be noted is that the retraction cord has to be removed only after you make the impression and when you remove the retraction cord it's again important to wet it again to protect the epithelium and remove it in one go not removing it too slowly and that's it so thank you for watching this video i'll come up with some other video very soon